Ancient pharaohs knew acne, and they called it acuity, according to the Evers papyrus. With so many cosmetics on the market that claim to cure acne, patients and dermatologists as well can be confused. Topical nicotinamide at 4-5% to reduces the production of sebum and of cytokines, particularly in interleukin A. In a few randomized controlled trials, it reduced inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne lesions, as well as the irritation caused by other anti-treatments like retinoids. The evidence level is moderate and requires more controlled trials. Bakushayol is a plant extract that induces a retinol-like gene expression in the skin and can inhibit cutibacterium acnes in vitro. Like nicotinamide, it may reduce the inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-8 and human growth factor alpha. Its evidence level is moderate due to the limited clinical trials. Tea tree oil is a potent antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant. It reduces inflammatory lesions, but there is insufficient comparative studies, making its level of evidence poor to moderate for acne tree. Sibaril is a mixture of different substances, with nicotinamide, pantenol, and zinc gluconate being the main ingredients. It is supposed to inhibit 5-alpha reductase and reduce sebum production, but still evidence is poor without any peer-reviewed studies. However, on their own, ingredients like nicotinamide and zinc gluconate in Sibaril may be of benefit for acne patients. Matmarine is a proprietary active substance that regulates sebum through inhibition of melanocortin-5 receptors. Its evidence is poor with no peer-reviewed studies. Acnacidol is derived from castor oil with a sebum regulation, antibacterial, as well as antifungal properties. Its claim to reduce sebum formation and the number of active sebaceous glands in just 60 minutes. Again, the level of evidence is poor with no peer-reviewed studies. Pantenol and aloe vera are proven to have anti-inflammatory and wound healing properties, but they are mainly used as supportive ingredients to reduce irritation from other materials used for the treatment of acne. As a treatment, the evidence is poor, but it can be used as a co-ingredient to decrease irritation of concomitant topical medications. Vitamin E prevents lipid oxidation, which may cause inflammation and comedogenesis. Not surprisingly, the evidence for vitamin E is poor as a treatment or even as an adjuvant to reduce irritation in acne patients. In brief, nicotinamide and bacchiciol are the most promising cosmeceuticals for acne in the market now, but more studies are definitely needed.